cost, volume, profit analysis. We've been talking about exercise eight. And we, you'll recall we set it up by saying that sales is equal to the selling price, 1340 times the units sold. Variable cost was two co variable costs added together to $7.40. Gives us a contribution margin per unit sold of $6. And that means that every product sold has the ability of contributing $6 to either covering my fixed costs or to giving me a bottom line. Now, if I assume that net income is equal to zero, which is what requirement one says, find the number of units you need to sell in order to break even. Net income zero. So let's see what we do. Well, does it make sense that six times x minus 208,530 will equal zero. So if I do it algebraically, 6x minus $208,530 equals zero. Solving for x, it'll be the fixed cost divided by the what? The variable rate. And we find that x, the number of units you've got to sell to break even, is 34,755 units. If I produce and sell 34,755 units, what will my profit be? Zero. What if I sell 34,756 units? What's this profit going to be? It's going to be six dollars. Why? Because you're one unit above break even. So that one unit will contribute, what, six dollars. So do you see how I can predict what my bottom line will be once I'm past break-even? Isn't that wonderful? So it gives us great power as a manager to manage and predict my costs. Part two says, well, what is break-even in dollars of sales, sales dollars? So what I would do there is I could set it up again that 1340x minus 740x is contribution margin of 6x minus my fixed cost is zero. But since I want to find the break-even in sales dollars, there's two ways I could approach it. The first way is to say that sales is equal to 100% of sales. That means the variable cost, if I wanted to express it as a percentage of sales, would be $7.40 divided by the sales of $13.40. And would that give me a percentage? Yeah. So whatever that percentage is times sales is the variable cost. So contribution margin, if I take $6 and divide it by sales of $13.40, would I get contribution margin or what's called the contribution margin ratio of sales. Yes. And then fixed costs are fixed. And we could solve for zero. In other words, we could solve for S. In other words, whatever this contribution margin ratio is, times sales minus 208,530 equals zero. Solving for S. The easier way, since we've already got break-even in units, is to say, well, if break-even in units is 34,755 units, and that's how many units I have to sell at break-even. If I just multiply it by its selling price, and the selling price was what? $13.40 regardless. And multiply that, won't I get my break-even in sales dollars? You bet. So, the number, calculators please, is 4,600 did I say that right? $465.717. So 465.717 is break-even sales. And if I solved it this way, guess what? Sales would be the same number. So two ways to get success in break-even in sales dollars.